Hi, and welcome to this tutorial from SQL Azure Tutorials.com. Today we are going to cover how to sign up for SQL Azure. Uh, this is the cloud service from Microsoft that has been out for a few months. So uh, today uh, that's what we are going to cover. So I don't have a lot of slides, but I will basically be walking you through, through this. So there are a couple of ways you can get to um, the website. Uh, you can either search for Microsoft Online Customer Portal. That's one way to get there. And once uh, once you're there, uh, let's go ahead and click on this link. It will uh, go through a few questions before it signs you in. Another way uh, you can get this is uh, if you type, uh, let's say, SQL Azure portal by the way some people call it Azure some people call it Azure I'm really not sure but I'm going to go ahead and stick with Azure um, so when I type that in uh, it is giving me uh, this link to Windows Azure platform you can also uh, essentially sign up from here too so there's a couple of ways uh, you can get there in fact uh, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and copy these links to my PowerPoint uh, as we uh, as we cover some of this uh, information so that that's one way to get there uh, by typing uh, SQL Azure portal or by simply uh, going to the uh, Mic Microsoft online customer portal and let me go ahead and copy this link also so that uh, you have this information if you were to uh, rewatch this video or something like that so anyway once uh, once you are in the portal uh, it is asking you uh, what is your location and I am in the United States so I will go ahead and select this one and then here are some of the uh, services that are available um, there is business productivity online Microsoft office live meeting but we are really interested in Windows Azure platform uh, you can select on some of these links to uh, find information uh, on the different plans we have. We are basically going to show you how to uh, sign up for Windows Azure Platform Introductory Special. Uh, we are uh, going to be setting up a fairly small size database. If you were a business client or you needed more, let's say, bandwidth, you could definitely uh, sign up for one of these now uh, there is information on each plan so if I clicked on the rate plan it will uh, go ahead and uh, give you a little bit uh, breakdown of uh, some of the uh, features uh, primarily I wanted to uh, point at point your attention point this attention to this one we are going to be using um, web edition a database like I said it should be pretty small fairly probably less than 1 GB so the price is $9.99 and I believe you get um, uh, three months free for this and then it also talks about some of the other information as far as uh, data transfer and uh, number of users and whatnot so I did want to point that out to you so I'm going to go ahead and simply uh, click on buy now and then uh, when I did that it's asking me to log in uh, with my Windows ID if you do not have this uh, you can uh, definitely sign up. It is uh, it is free to uh, free to do that. I'm going to go ahead and type my user ID and my password. Um, looks like I need my email here also. So we sign in, and then uh, we will basically be going through the uh, number of screens to. Um, essentially show you how to sign up for the service uh, now on the on, on the Windows Azure platform one of the first things it's asking you is to uh, use you know a subscription name and for now uh, I'm simply going to call it uh, my username and this would be essentially um, when it's done creating this it will create a project for you and uh, that's where this comes in handy. Now my information is already stored about my address and whatnot, so uh, it's possible that when you sign up, it may um, ask you for address and whatnot. It talks about uh, the agreement here. We are basically uh, using, like I mentioned, the introductory special. 
and I will go ahead and uh, select this one. Another point to be noted is that your uh, charges per month is going to be based on usage. So that's the nice thing about cloud is that uh, the more you use, um, the more it's going to cost you. So as for as now, uh, we, we need to fill our billing information. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pause uh, the video at this point. I'm going to uh, fill this part and then uh, click on next. So we, so we will be uh, on shortly. So the, on the next screen, we basically have uh, the agreement information. And then I'm just going to go ahead and check this and then go ahead and purchase the services basically. And uh, I do have the confirmation number here about this order. And uh, they said they will be sending uh, some information regarding the project. So let's go ahead and click on finish. And it is it is possible that uh, it it may take take some time for the uh, subscription to be provisioned. So I will actually pause this video and then I shall return shortly to continue the rest. Uh, so we are back. The process uh, did go ahead and complete in a few minutes, and it took me directly to uh, the Windows Azure platform. Uh, in in case uh, you you don't uh, know how to get there. I'm going to actually go ahead and log out and then uh, show you a couple of ways you can get into it. So you can type uh, sql.azure.com and then when you do that, it will take you to that uh, log login page or you could also do windows.azure.com. So let me actually, I'm going to go ahead and add these to our list also. So windows.azure.com and then also um, I guess let me just make this like this and then also sql.azure.com. So these would be basically the portals that you would need to log into when you're trying to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account and it should take me to the same spot. Now in here, uh, actually we're going to cover more topics next time, but uh, simply we have uh, the pro my uh, projects listed here. And remember this name came from when we uh, signed, when we were signing up, when you click on this, it will uh, take you into essentially um, uh, your uh, application area, which we don't have uh, a, whole, a whole lot here right now. Um, on your account tab, you can uh, basically see uh, all the different information uh, that you have listed. One thing that's important to note is your uh, subscription ID, as that uh, does come into play if you're calling. Uh, I've had to uh, sign up for basically um, uh, customer support. I had some issues with one of my servers and I, that's what I needed to do. When I click on uh, SQL Azure on, on the left side here, uh, it's basically um, asking me to create a server. So this would be essentially think of it as a cloud server that will be um, housing the uh, SQL server um, for your account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on I accept and then um, this is basically where I'm going to go ahead and create my admin user account. So just for the sake of simplicity, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my same username and then I'm going to go ahead and create a password.